today we go over an update for Star Wars Episode 9, the final film of the sequel trilogy. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, Episode 9 is currently being directed by J.J. Abrams. He's currently hard at work on trying to make the best Star Wars movie out of the entire sequel trilogy, and we can only hope that it will actually be the best film of the three. That is, of course, the other ones being The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, the film that a lot of people had a lot of problems with based on many of the decisions that Ryan Johnson implemented in the movie. Now, looking at everything that we have been going over these past couple of weeks or so when it comes to certain filming locations and scene schedules and concept art descriptions, one of which all has to do with Supreme Leader Snoke and Kylo Ren. Now, you guys may have heard of the big news a couple of months ago of the possibility of Disney and Lucasfilm casting Ed Harris to be a younger version of Supreme Leader Snoke, and it could quite possibly be as to why they will be using D de-aging te de technology in this movie. Now, one of the concept art descriptions goes over a rear shot of what appears to be both Snoke and Kylo looking out a window on a ship overseeing the construction for the core of Starkiller Base. Now, it's a direct parallel to the ending of Revenge of the Sith, when both Vader and Palpatine are looking at the construction of the first Death Star. Snoke is, however, in a black robe, as opposed to a golden one, where Kylo's helmet is off. So, this is really making a lot of fans wonder, are we getting a lot of flashbacks in Episode 9? Is it going to have the Godfather Part 2 format for this movie? And if you think about it, that would honestly be a very cool concept if JJ embraced that, where half the movie's flashbacks and the other half is present time. Now, flashbacks give you the opportunity to explore the past of both Snoke and Luke Skywalker and exactly what they were really up to in between the events of Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. As far as Snoke goes, though, this is most definitely a flashback as both Kylo and Snoke are looking out a window to the construction of Starkiller Base. So this really does bring up a big question for sure. Exactly when did Kylo Ren get established in the First Order? When was he really Snoke's apprentice? How long was he training before he became Snoke's official apprentice and replaced Snoke's other apprentice? I don't know if you guys knew this, but Snoke actually once had another apprentice that is either alive or dead, we don't know. And there's a lot of questions and a lot of speculation that maybe this could very well be Kerry Russell's character in Episode 9. Now, the whole concept of Snoke showing back up in Episode 9, it could work in the form of flashbacks. I don't know about bringing him back to life. That seems like it would be, you know, a little hard to pull off. Sure, Maul got cut in half too, but Snoke seems like he's dead and that's it. However, flashbacks, they could always revive him if they really wanted to. Now, looking at Episode 9 here, the whole entire thing with Supreme Leader Snoke is that we do know from reading the last Jedi novelization that he was seeking the truth of the Force. If they do embrace the idea of flashbacks in Episode 9 for both Snoke and Luke, we can honestly get a little glimpse into that storyline by J.J. And I'm sure that J.J., if he directed The Last Jedi, he would have gotten into this a whole lot more than what Ryan Johnson did in that movie in which we really didn't get into any of it at all. You know, a uh, great example for Luke was the Prime Jedi. We never learned about the Prime Jedi. We just saw the mosaic, and he sat on it, and that was it. In the Visual Dictionary, however, you do learn a whole lot more about it, and that is something that I think a lot of fans want to learn about. But as far as Supreme Leader Snoke goes, if they do cast Ed Harris for a younger version of the character, how would you feel? I mean, does he really look like Snoke to you guys? Does he really kind of have any similarities there? I can see somewhat of a similarity there to Snoke, so if they do cast him, it would make sense. As far as a flashback scene involving both Snoke and Kylo, looking at the construction of Starkiller Base, exactly what purpose would that serve in the actual storyline for Episode 9? Could there very well be secrets within that timeline? Possible. But anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.